And good afternoon, hockey fans in London around the world. Welcome to the Stretzer My Center. On a well, this is a bit of an odd time for us. We're used to playing very late in the evening, sometimes even at midnight, but now we're playing pretty much at midday. We're running a few minutes behind the schedule, but not, not too badly. Um, so yeah, welcome to the London Ice Varsity. It's a little bit different this year. You're used to probably seeing UCL take on the Imperial Devils, but for reasons that I'll be honest, I don't know why, but <laughs> Imperial is not playing this year. So they gave an invitation to the University of London Dragons and as per usual, the Dragons very much obliged. So we are going to be seeing a matchup between the Yetis and the Dragons this time around. And on the, ro on the screen right now, you can see the rosters. Uh, Dragons slightly maybe shorthanded. Um, let's let's run through through the through the Dragons roster first. So we got on, on in goal number thirty nine Roman Warmiger Turan in his brand new black mask. By the looks of it, I haven't seen that one before. On defense, we got Marius Nikstelis, Ryan Poon, Kirid, and Matti Konsala um, up front. Rafael Girard, Sam Zadni, Omar Rehak, Thomas Magowi, Michael Dapri, Victor Finnila, and Derek Damphouse. So. A little bit of a short bench, but I would like to remind everyone in 2012 in the in the Tier 1 Nationals, we had nine skaters and we won. So, and playing six games in two days is a lot more difficult than playing one game in one day. So, that doesn't necessarily mean about anything, necessarily mean anything, especially if you got the quality. And then the team in white, on the right of your screen right now, the UCL Yeti is the starting goalie, Bruno Reynel doing his little movement on the goal, on the net. Well, the ref's checking the net. You can't really see it, but that's what's happening. And on the roster, Alex Ronholm, Alex Saudkin, Anton Verdier, Ming Hao Peng, Charlie Oli, Leroy Hung, Blake, Rachel Morse, sorry. And uh, we have a late dropout. Blake Tomlinson, number 44, was supposed to be playing, but he's apparently not. Uh, Mark Van Dam, Ben Lee. Antoine Salzman, the captain, Harry Blake, the real danger man for them, if we're honest, although their, their top line is dangerous, but he must be the one to watch. He has a big fat C on his chest, so you will see him flying around. And last but not least, Evan Kerr Edwards, number 93. So while we wait for the teams to warm up, it's, uh, it's a lovely day in South London. Uh, so I was making my way to the rink, a couple of clouds in the sky, but mostly sunshine, plus 20 or so. So is there a better day for ice hockey in the middle of the summer? Yeah, I didn't think so. And I believe the next thing in schedule is going to be, after the warm-ups obviously, gonna be lining up for the national anthems and then get the puck drop. So we are up here in the, uh, in the media lounge with the producer Tom Norris, the legendary Dragons team legend who was, of course, in the 2017 all-conquering Tier 1 National Championship team and has made a pretty seamless change to the media side of things by the looks of it. I'll be honest, the level of production he's put together for this in a very short notice is nothing short of impressive. I'll, uh, and again, not, not to sound rude or anything, but I didn't know he's capable of doing all this. So I'm, <laughs> I'm very, very impressed. He's chuckling. He knows. If anyone knows, he knows. So... We should be in for a nice little, nice little early afternoon of hockey. And like I said, the time is, of course, a little bit weird for for most people, especially if you have a day job, like uh, <laughs> you assume most people do. Um, so it is impressive that both teams have even managed to scrape this this kind of roster together. We can see what's going on there in the Dragons' end of things. Omar Rehak there taking a shot with, with, with an absolutely acrobatic attempt by Roman Turan. It's been a, it's been a pretty good su uh, summer so far in London hockey-wise. There's been a lot of available ice time, so I've seen and I've been on ice with uh, quite a few of these guys, and I don't know if you can say that they're mid-season form, but they're is very much on their way there. So we should be seeing a fairly high-paced match today. And of course, everyone always looking for a, looking forward to taking a bit of contact, playing so-called proper hockey. We got referees. We got, I'll be honest, I don't know who the other referee, but Eva Harrison, who is another BYHA legend, played for Dragons, played for Nottingham, played for International All Star. She's played for a lot of teams, and she's played well for them. And now today, she's uh, lining up into the face of with the stripes on. 
So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that. I no doubt the rest will do well as well. And while here comes, oh, there you go. Blake greens it off the pipe. You're probably see, going to see that rush up the up the right wing a few times today. Oh, taking D, taking a little dumble. That's all you want to not want to do in the warm-ups. Oh, and a blocker side low. I was just telling the guys in the locker room that if you want to shoot somewhere on Raynell, it's probably blocker side low, because that's where it's going to go in from. So looks like we got about three and a half minutes left in the warm-ups. So we will go silent for a moment while we wait for the national anthems. And while we wait for the teams to gather, gather themselves and the pucks, um, I believe we were scheduled national anthems, but I'll be honest, I, they were came in, come, in asked, uh, come to us asking for an aux cable before, so let's see if they had that problem solved or not, depending if we're going to get the anthems, anthems or are we just dropping the pucks straight away? 
But either way, we are not too far at all from getting the party started, as they say. Here in the rather chilly stretch, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I should have worn something else than shorts. But, hey, I'm nothing if not very tolerant of cold. Teams should be huddling up, both on there having a little pep talk from the captains. Although, at, at least that's what usually happens. Victor there is at least, Victor Finnila taking his helmet off. Making, his hair, making sure his hair looks good, so I think he's at least expecting anthems here. You can see Eva Harrison there having a very animated chat with the scorer's table for some reason. And Lee, Ben Lee, number 69 there you see on his knee, and an absolutely majestic head of hair, rivaling only my own head of hair at the, at the rink at the moment, so we'll, we'll look forward to seeing those locks flapping in the wind as, as the game goes on. Referee is now for some reason in the penalty box. Um, I'm not exactly sure why he's there. Raubal, I believe I might have. I'm pretty sure we've played a game where he's been refing before. The name name is not the uh, a little bit obs obscure one. Oh, looks like okay. Here we go. So it looks like we're going straight into the action. No anthems today. Oh, that yeah, war midget. Roman Turan joins the huddle for the Dragons. And as, as I've been previously provided, so the top line for UCL, Blake, Van Damme, Peng, seems to be on the ice right now with the defenders, Verbia and Rönholm. Number two and number 13. You can tell the difference from the different color helmets. Verdi and number 13, the red helmet, and Rönholm, uh, number two with the blue helmet. And it's Blake and Dapri looking to take the face off. And we are off. The UCL wins the puck back. Verbier plays it up the wing. But no one there. It's Marius Nuxtelli is playing the puck next to the blue line. But UCL manages to keep it in. It's Rafael Girard taking it behind his own net. Look at the catch some speed. He loves to bring the puck up. He loves to skate. But gives it up to Magoi. A little bit of a delayed start. Girard still going up the middle. And a good poke check by Rönholm there. Making sure that Girard doesn't have a free pass into the zone. Verdier. Bank behind the net. Look at the breakout. UCL. Good forechecking there by Girard. Doesn't allow the Yetis to come out of the zone freely. McGoy with a strong forecheck as well. Here's Blake. He's the danger man. Go pass it to Van Dam. Van Dam makes a power one. That's a trip. And the referee's arm does go up. That was a trip as clear as a day. Referee is straight on it. Two minutes. Immediate power play. We are only 47 seconds in. And Dragons are immediately on the, on the back foot here. You can only assume that it's going to be UCL's top line with Blake, Van Damme and Peng who's going to who's going to hop on, stay, well not hop on the box, they're going to stay on the ice because they didn't have time to take a line change yet. And it's number 63, Marius Nuxtelli, who seems to have bought a new helmet. He used to have a black helmet, now he has a blue helmet. Very interesting. He hasn't, haven't seen him on ice in a while, but uh, good to see that the small man from Lithuania is back, on, back in action. While we wait for the penalty box to be closed. Because we don't see the penalty box attendance, so <laughs> I think the referee was telling him to get out on his own once the time's up. And it's Stamp House versus Blake in the face of Dot with Gonzala and Zadni playing defense for the Dragons. And as mentioned before, it's the aforementioned top line Blake, Van Damme, Peng with Renholm. Oh, it's not Renholm, it's Verdier is on the ice and playing defense is number 23. Oh, sorry, Peng is playing defense. Oh, it is the top line. Apologies about that. Rönholm was just in a weird position, so I didn't see him straight away. Consola in the corner, harassing Verdier, comes with the point. Peng shoots. Oh, and a good block off the skate of Zadny. Going to the corner, that's Keir Reed, The Glaswegian, who has migrated down south and has been playing very good hockey for Dragons. Begging all the way down to the Yeti's end. Verdier is tossed behind the net, looking for options. Pass it to Van Damme. Blake. Zadny on him. Good, big, uh, nice collision. I was going to say big. He wasn't very big, but he has Van Damme shooting. Good blocker save by Roman Turan. Not, not too hard of a shot, but a good test at the beginning. Verdier looking for options. Have Blake on the other side, and he goes there. Blake just whips it on net, and he scores! Oh, what a shot by Captain Harry Blake from the point. And it goes full Turan, and he goes blocker side high right under the bar. No, Well... 
I'm not sure if he wasn't expecting him to shoot or there, if there was traffic. But either way, the power play comes through for Yetis. It's 1-0 on a power play goal by the captain, Harry Blake. Told you he's the danger man. And there you go. Proving me right. Making me look pretty good up here. And Dragons. Oh, I'm not sure what this what that the label's about. Okay, maybe just making sure that they got the right right people down on the, on the game sheet. Dapri, Finnila or Rehak with Nuxtelis and Poon on defense for the Dragons. Looking to avenge that goal immediately, but oh, it's a bit of a miscue from Nuxtelis, but he covers himself. Finnila bringing up the ice, looking for Dapri in the middle. That was very close to an offside, but the whistle doesn't go. Nuxtelis in trouble again, being harassed there by I believe that was Charlie Olli, number 28. Salzman skating back to get the puck. Not a lot of pressure, but the two-man forecheck, Finland, Rehak both going behind the net for some reason there. Uxtelis from the point, good shot. Saved by Reynel, that was his first of the game, Finnila. And Dapri, the big man who used to have long locks as well, but doesn't have him anymore. In the corner, he's a very, very difficult customer to move once he gets to it. Oh, and a good hit. Finnila there putting his man down on the post, but he comes out of the zone. Ryan Poon taking, chasing it up. A little bit of pressure from Oli. Looks up. Easy pass. Rehak looking to go wide. Skating in dead, and, and that was maybe a little bit of an ill advised decision. UCL putting the puck deep. Poon chased by Oli behind the net. And they do manage to keep it in. That was Leroy Hung putting it behind the net and UCL cannot keep it in that was Harry Blake trying to kick it and keep it in he does he's of course this is his own ring and here comes Rönholm down the left wing on challenge shoots oh and he just misses on the far side that was about three inches off the far post good rush just slightly off the mark by the Swedish defenseman and here comes UCL again coming to look going for the net Turan decides that that's enough for that and closes the puck down So strong start from UCL so far, not a lot of anything apart from a couple of hits on the offensive zone by the Dragons, so I don't know if they're trying to conserve energy because there's only so few of them, but well here we go, look at, what do I know, here comes Girard with a foot race with Verdier, goes behind the net, McGoey, Girard puts, puts his man against the boards, McGoey there looking for the free puck, but Rönholm gets there first, Rönholm, Bit of, a, bit of a rush decision, but he gets it out of the zone. Blake streaking up the same win again, but Van Damme decides to go other side, and here's Peng coming down the middle. One against two. Gonzala and Reed. And the puck comes in front of the net again, but it's poke checked by Turan, and UCL has it. It's, this is all Yetis right now. It's, it's a bit of a, you could say it's an avalanche. Uh, to, um, Girard's looking for a long stretch pass again, but Zadny is way too much pressure. He's way too far out, and that could have been a holding penalty against Reed. No arm goes up. UCL puts another on net, and he has Zadny in the corner. Tries to calm it down a bit. They got Girard in the middle, and there he goes again. Here's Rafael Girard. Oh, and he just misses on the far side. So there you go. You're probably going to see a lot of that. This man loves to stay up high and look for these breaks. He's got good speed, and he does definitely have this, what we call as technical term, separation speed. So, once he gets a step on you, he's gonna be a hard one to catch. So, look out for that. There's gonna be more than one of those stretch passes coming today, and unless UCL grows wise to them, it's trouble o'clock, but we'll see. I'm sure that uh, Blake will order his troops to, uh, to be wary of that as the game goes on. We only, uh, just over, just over four minutes in, so maybe they just haven't, haven't realized yet what his game plan is. He has Nuxtelis, puts it off the board. Sit again, UCL trying to go in, but they know they played back towards their own goal. Not exactly sure what was the idea there. Oh, and here's Rehak. They've got Dragons, got Finnila, and Dampu's up front, but it comes all the way out of the zone to, to Nuxtelis. Who just dumps it in. No icing. I believe that could have been an icing, but fair play. And here's Blake, galloping up the right wing, as he often does. Gonzala hops on the ice, tries to defend, tries to put a poke check on him, does and Oh my goodness, Omar Rehak with an enormous hit on Harry Blake. He looks a bit shaken up, but gets up under his own steam, and that was an enormous collision. That's, that's one of the dangers when you're coming up the wing and you cut down the middle. If there's a winger coming the other way, that might happen, and we just saw it happen. 
Here's Dampus bringing it up the ice. Rehax in front of the net. Verdi with a great poke check. UCL defending very well against the Fast Dragons forwards here. Now a battle next to the boards of Rehak, Dampus, Oli, there's everyone sticking away at it. Who's gonna come away with it? UCL's got three versus two over there and they come out with it as you should. Verdier plays it out of the zone. Hung in the middle, can't and keep it in, so Dragons go D to D and Konsala plays it deep. Dragons need a line change and they do. UCL trying to calm, calm the play down a little bit. Let's keep an eye on when does Harry play get, get back on the ice. He seems he seems to be winded a bit, maybe just not used to having people collide with him. And here comes Girard again up the left wing. What is he? He tries to cut to the middle and it's a another monstrous hit. Verdier lays, puts his man on his back. No questions asked. Don't cut down to the middle. Good night, Jim Kite. That was lovely. And here comes UCL, you can see the physicality is clearly ramping up, so the, the, fe the feeling out process is definitely done. And here comes Dragons again. Oh, and it's a great glove save by Raynell. Dupree and Girard were trying to sniff it out in the front of the net. They had only got a little hopper on goal, so no further damage there. So we are exactly six and a half minutes in, even though the game clocks are something different, but whatever. <sighs> One second difference. Um, one nothing UCL. And UCL does win the face of eventually, but Dragons keep it in for a moment. And here's a here comes Blake coming on a breakaway, shoots. Oh, and he scores. There it is. Two goals for Harry Blake. Even even a hit like that doesn't keep the man down for very long. And he streaks down the wing to to punish the team in in black. And Turan takes a little reset lap. Maybe. Maybe wasn't wasn't warmed up as he should have. I'm not sure, but to be fair, they were they both have been very quality chances, or quality shots rather. Obviously, quality chances because they ended up in goals. But here we go, two nothing UCL. Dragons looking to get something going here, and Zadni goes <laughs> and makes sure that Blake doesn't get up immediately. Sort of just stands next to him. He is he is Peng. UCL defender takes takes a tumble. Peng coming down the middle, streaking two against four, one against four, and it's an easy glove save for Turan. It lo looks like they're now now UCL's tactic is just bring it in and shoot. They're trying everything, and I think Dragons would need a little bit more of that as well. Keep it simple, bring it into zone, take a shot, traffic in net. I know it's the age-old adage about how to play ice hockey, but as you've just seen, it works. So Verdier shooting from the point. Puck goes to the corner, Konsala there with Oli and Finnila breaks it out. He's got Rehak on the far side, doesn't pass it yet. Paul, he should have made that pass earlier. Now puts it in deep. Runholm behind the net, stops and starts. Goes wide. That's Kerr Edvars, I believe, on the far side. Yes, it is. Bringing it down the middle. And a bit of a, bit of a Dragons backing up now. They're giving UCL the space and they are there to take it. I'm not sure if that's the best best tactic that you 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 can you can have in a game like this. Now, re yes, that, that's Kiri trying to bring it up the wing, trying to do something from the defender position. Sam Zadni, bit of a lazy play again, just a little flyby there, and oh, Charlie Oli is got <laughs> dodges two hits there on on his way to the zone, and here's Girard going the other way again. Girard versus Verdier down in the middle. Oh, and Reha can he get his stick on it? Zadni goes the corner, lays a hit, falls down a. After the hit by UCL double teams on Girard. Poon can't keep it in. Now Nuxtellis needs to hustle because here's here's Kerr Edwards chasing him down. Dampus. And again, if you didn't already guess it, Girard's way up high in the opposing blue line, waiting for the stretch pass. And it looks like they're playing this sort of half torpedo hockey that the Swedes used to play back in the days. Girard takes a shot, that's blocked. Dampus in the corner, plays it up to the point. Nuxtelix shoots. Oh, and a good redirection there in front of the net. It doesn't just go in. I'm not sure if that got a piece of piece of uh, Raynell or not. Just Kerr Edwards up again to Oli. One against two. It's Nuxtelix right on his skin. And Poon comes in. Probably should have stayed in front of the net. No reason for both D to go there. But again, as a result of that, Van Dam keeps it in. Puts it in front of the net. No one home. It was going to be another foot race between Saotkin and 
Girard, but Girard decides that's enough of foot races for this shift. So Otkin plays it up the up the boards. Van Dam grabs it in, in front of Salzman. who seemed a bit confused by that. Here comes Van Dam. Oh my goodness! And decided to stop. So Reha coming the other way. Don't go on the same train tracks with this big boy. Even though he's about five foot six. Oh, and Reed goes in for another hit, but only catches really half of the man and goes flying himself. And here he comes again, plays his man off the puck, good strong play. And now the Dragons got numbers, if they hurry, here's Dupree coming down the middle, looking to shoot, shot, does shoot, and a chance misses on the short side. And Dragons played behind the net, Dupree has it again, could play it in front of the net, and here he comes from the point. Oh, and a good blocker saved by Raynell. UCL manages to recover the puck and plays it slightly dangerous down the middle. Not what you would advise, and there's a drag there's a lead. Hung was going to the bench, and he got the puck anyway. As he usually enters the zone again, but he's two against five, looking for reinforcements, trying to kill some time in Consala, taking his man next to the boards. And they are going to call Consala for holding, I believe. Which, uh, I can see that, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to argue with that one whatsoever. Clearly, I couldn't see all the way from here, but most likely had his arm wrapped around him. And there you go, that's a two-minute penalty. And uh, this is no longer 90s hockey, where you can do whatever you want. So, Konsala will sit for two, and it's another UT's power play. Blake, the man of two goals in the first, first what, seven minutes of the game. Looking to get his hat-trick in the first period, natural hat-trick. Run home, Verdier. Hangs in the point. He's got a good position to shoot, and he does. But that hits a skate, goes to the corner. Blake. Oh, and that comes out of the zone. Verdier was trying to play with his skate. And here comes McGoy against Peng in a foot race. McGoy does win it. And Sadney in the middle. Sadney here, Sam Sadney. Oh, and he got good bad save. Couldn't get everything on that shot, but it was a strong save by Renel nonetheless. And that hits the referee skates. Helps the Dragons a little bit. Sadney just pops it in. It's Verdier again. Van Damme. Coming down the left wing, shadowed by Girard. Shot that goes wide on the short side. Not a lot of mustard on that one. They believe it hits someone's someone's stick. And Dragons clear the zone with 115 left in the penalty. Verdier. Looking for his options. Finds Oli in the middle. And Dragons easily pop it back in to the Yeti's end. Here come the Yetis again, and a good strong hit, but it doesn't really matter because UCL still is in the possession of the puck. All, and here comes Dampus down the middle, it's one against one, one we won. Dampus, Verdier shoots and just misses. I'm not sure if, if uh, Reynolds got a piece of that. But either way, puck doesn't go into the net, and Dragons just deposits it once more into the right-hand corner. And now we have Harry Blake is leaving the bench. He's walking towards the locker room, not sure what's... He was seemed to be playing okay. And there was a big hit next to the boards by Girard. Could have been potentially a late hit, not sure. But no, again, referee's arms stay down. Kier Reed puts it in front of the net. So at the moment, UCL down their captain on the power play. So that cannot be great news. And the referee was very close. He already had a whistle in his mouth, but decided that that's not an offside. It's Charlie Oli entering the zone against Nuxtell. He's trying to cut to the middle. Good stick by him. And Gonzala out of the penalty box right now. Closing the door himself. Let's hope the door's closed properly. Oh, and a very dangerous pass in front of the net. That was Salzman already handed it to Finnila, who was ready and waiting. Here's come Dupri and a strong shot from a tight space. That was almost a disaster for UCL. As they say in Dallas, a cadaverous decision. But Raynell bails out his defense. And it's an offensive zone. Face off for once for the Dragons. This doesn't happen in a while. Dapri tries to shoot straight from the face off. Here he comes on the point. And a glove save. Not enough traffic in front. Raynell has been more on point in the first 13 minutes or so of the period than his counterpart to Ren in the other end. But to be fair, he hasn't necessarily faced shots just as difficult thanks to the UCL's probably well, I guess you could say discipline not going on the or not going on the penalty kill. And UCL trying to clear the zone, and they do. Van Damme kicks it to himself, but Dapri is right there with his eight-foot stick. And that's not a euphemism. Uh, Consala in the corner, and that one is out of play. I believe that one deflected from the UCL stick, so the face of should come outside. And I believe it 
Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he deflected off the UCL stick, and there we go, the face of dust come outside the blue line. Zadny versus Van Dam. And UCL wins it, but there's again high pressure from Verdier. On Verdier from Girard, apologies. Van Dam tries to play it around Nuxtelis, and he does enter the zone, but it's four against two again. Dragons backing up and making sure they got numbers in the zone, but I do I still believe that they're playing a little bit too deep. Because their only offensive option so far has been Girard, who's been playing up high with the stretch pass, and that's just not a viable option to last a hockey game. So Dragons need to come up with something else at some point, and that pass is definitely not it. And it's going, and UCL taking a change, and it's Ben Lee, number 69, hops on the ice. This locks. Not, I know we're an ice hole coming in, but I just felt like mentioning that. Verdier twisting and turning his own end, puts in the corner for Ernholm, who not, doesn't see it straight away. McGoey going in for a four-check, Verdier again. You see, are now pinned a little bit to their own end, but they're just passing no, under no real risk. They just can't get out of the zone. Vernholm, Lee, on the skates. But here comes UCL down the right wing again, as, but it's poke checked away. Girard looking to enter the zone, but can't. Goes far side to Consala. Consala, small area pass for Mago, Magoi, who goes and takes a line change, and Lee. Verdier now up the middle, spearheading the attack, takes a shot, and that misses by about two feet, so no danger there. Gonzala plays it off the boards. Kyrid looking for options, tries to go up the middle to Dampus, a good pass, who drops it off to Girard, who goes one on two, could split the D, doesn't, but takes, oh, the oh, door, heavens open, and Girard! What was UCL defense doing there? The heavens just absolutely all the seas parted for Rafael Girard and he goes far side low posting in. No chance of Raynell. I think everyone was fooled by that one. Even I was. That was very a uh, bit of a defensive gaff. But that brings Dragons into the game with 14-45 played in the first period. 2-1. One goal game once more. So a bit of a gift from UCL defense, but the team in dark will take it, and here they come again. Finney line to the corner, a bit of a bad pass from Keir Reed, who was for some reason in front of the net, but no worries, Dampus is playing defense and covering for him. UCL wins the puck pile behind the net, and a dangerous pass down the middle again. Here, here's Gonzala shooting, and he scores! Matti Gonzala from the point makes it 2-2, and then that was, what, 28 seconds, if my calculations are correct, and we are tied. A couple of pretty bad defensive mistakes by UCL. You don't want to make those against this Dragons team because they will punish you. And there we go. All even Stevens entering the final five. We, we're not four, five, Ford one, F-150 final five this time around. We're not sponsored yet. But clearly Dragons entering the game and saying that that's enough of that. It's our time to start scoring. Probably the lack of having Captain Harry Blake out there must be hurting UCL. So we'll be keeping an eye on that if he comes out of the locker room in this period on, and what's what's actually wrong with him. Try to find that out for you if in the intermission, if nothing else. And that definitely looked like an offside, and it is. So Dragons can calm down in their own end. Here's Ryan Poon. We're going to come up the middle. Skating it up. Kafinila on his left. Tries to stick handle. Loses the puck. Run home. Nice quick up pass. He has hung. Pass it to the middle. Hung floated in front of the net, but only Nuke Sterlix there. So no one from UCL. Run home. Verdier. Look at the go D to D. I'm not sure if UCL just wants this period to be over before there's any further damage to their scoreboard. But here's McGoey. He, I thought he's going to skate it in. He's not. He's going to shoot it in. Verdier. Hit by Girard. I think those two are going to have a battle at some point <laughs> over the course of this game. They're already being in each other's faces for the first 20. For the first, well, 16 minutes. Goey puts it in. Girard goes to the corner. And there's Verdier again. Shoulder to shoulder they go. Run home. Picks up the trash. McGoey straight to his stick. McGoey puts it in the same corner. Run home there again. And that hit, <laughs> that hit McGoey in the head. Jumps up Nuxtelis. Puts it up the boards. But only UCL jerseys there. I think Dragons are looking for a line change. Hopefully not yet. Because that's going to be too many men on the ice. No. They go far side. McGoey is still on the ice. And, and Raynell's way off position. 
Oh, and there you go, and there you go. <laughs> that's Girard on the far side. And that positioning from the goalie has now twice come to bite them. They'd be way too far left in, like, in relation to the shooter, leaving the far side completely exposed. I know that was a rebound goal, but the reason why it was a rebound goal was the poor positioning from the goalie. So I'm not sure what's, be, what's going on. He started so solidly and then two very, very uncharacteristic mistakes. I've been playing a lot against Bruno a lot and he usually doesn't do that, so... Maybe he's hungover, who knows? He looked all right, I spoke to him earlier and he seemed to be fine, so... We'll try to find out that as well for you during the intermission. Maybe we'll even... Maybe we'll even have a cheeky player interview in the, in the tunnel. Who knows? Uh, we do know, we're gonna have some. <laughs> anyway, here comes UCL down the zone, looking to tie the game up once more after leading 2-0 and then taking three unanswered. There's... Salzman is, is down the middle, but Van Damme can't get the puck to him. Oh, and here's Van Damme now in the slot. Look at the pass, no, he brings it up himself, and he shoots and scores, he does tie it up! What a shot! By Mac Van Damme! Glove side high, so the top corners have been absolute kryptonite for Roman Turan today. Glove side, blocker side, all side high. And they seem to be going in, he's leaning on his knees a little bit. Warmidge needs to get back on his horse, if the Dragons are. Looking to come out with a W here. But 2-3-3 two, <laughs> three, three almost at 2. There's so many scores I can't even keep up. And Dam who's put the puck in the net again. There's Zirard behind the net against Rönholm. Rönholm ties him in front of the net. The Verdier comes and pick up the loose change. Verdier. Girard giving a chase to him. Dam who's in the middle giving the pressure as well. Rönholm. Oh, and another dangerous pass in the middle. But this time it doesn't come to burn the Yetis. <laughs> Looking to enter the zone. Ooh, and that was a Leroy Hung, I believe, who got sandwiched between two players and a good passing from the net, but Ryan Poon tears it out, goes to the corner against Renholm. Doesn't get it out. Renholm managed to keep it in, and he keeps it in again. Not the third time, though, and here comes Poon. Oh, and he just steals it from Dan Poon. Girard has room and passes it to McGoey. Oh, who's tried to just slide it in on the far side, probably caught up a little bit of power, and he, and here comes pass. Nuxtelli from the point. Blocker saves. There we go. That's more like it from Bruno. And Renholm. The puck was just about to slide in front of the net. And Nuxtelli's put his man down. Referee's arms go up. I believe that's rough. In the stick came up very high. So it looks like the Dragons are going down again. And here goes Nuxtelli's again. <laughs> putting putting Hung, um, sorry, Ben Lee on his posterior side. And as a result... He gets served, I believe, a two-minute minor for... Well, they're not going to show us, I guess. But he is going to the box. If I have to guess, I would say that's roughing. His arms and stick came up very high, hit him in the chin. And I think that's what he's just explaining to him. That you can't do that. That's two minutes. Keep your stick, just keep your stick low, son. Maybe the, here you can see the effects of him not playing very recently, making those little... Silly, silly mistakes. Referee giving him a proper lecture there. Just making sure that nothing silly gets done later on in the game. Because, well, if the physicality keeps up, that only means one thing. And that means that the temperature is going to go up. And here's Harry Blake back on the ice. When did he get back on the ice? Or back on the bench even? Well, that <laughs> doesn't matter. There he is. And boy, do UCL ever need him. Because it's been all dragons for the past 10 minutes. Well, not even 10 minutes. 7 minutes. Let's say 7 minutes. And here's Dupree coming one on two. Van Damme stumbling a little bit. Dupree, big man with some speed. Coming down the wing. Tries to poke it in short side. No chance there. And here comes Blake. Up the right wing, as he always does. Goes to the corner. Stops. Founds Peng from the middle. Peng shoots. And an aggressive save from Turan there. Comes way out to close the angle. And like with Reynal earlier, that's more like it from Turan. Both of the goalies, as I said, uncharacteristically weak. Oh, you can't say weak, but have let in some uncharacteristic goals. Is that a word? I think it's a word. Tom's nodding. It's a word. It's a, now it's a word now. Rehak taking the face off against Van Damme. Van Damme just wins it. Consola brings it off, but there's 
I believe that was Salzman whose shin pads were on the way and it doesn't come out of the zone. Van Dam keeps it in. And now it squirts out of the zone. And that was Sautkin who was playing it up. So Sautkin playing, getting some power play time here. Van Dam shoots. Easy stick save. Stick, stick pad blocker save. Salzman on the point. Oh, and Finnila couldn't get it up. Rehak was on his way, streaking out of the zone already. UCL, Salzman playing it on the boards. And there we go. That's the end of the period. I thought they were never going to have enough time. Ooh. And <laughs> Rehak having a bit of a conversation there with Van Damme. They, they have something to say to each other, clearly. <laughs> Okay, so Dragons are still going to be short 156 seconds going in to the second period. We have 3-3 three, three after a strong start by UCL3 and answered by the, by the Dragons. And we will go to our first... I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to get an ice cut. I believe you are. The teams should be going to the locker room. So we will hopefully bring you some interviews from the hallway in a bit. But for now... Oh, yeah, for now, we will go quiet for a moment.
and welcome back everyone to Stretamai Center, the start of the second period between UCL Yetis and London Dragons. Dragons they're huddling up in front of their own goal, starting shorthanded, 56 seconds remaining on the penalty for Marius Nixtelis. 3-3, high scoring first period, but I don't think we were expecting <laughs> anything else from this matchup. It was always going to be pretty run and gun. Dupree against Van Damme in the center ice with the Yeti stop line, Blake Van Damme paying, starting on the power play. Peng playing up to run home, run home, playing wing in that face off, and here comes Van Damme down the middle. Zadny plays it out of the zone. Blake taking a little tumble. Seems to be all right, shaking his head a bit, but probably just because he fell down. Don't worry, the blue line's twenty it twice. It can be treacherous out there. Here's Van Damme looking to bring it in. Skates down the middle, looking to take a shot, and he does. Off the glove of Turan. Consola trying to play it out of, the, out of the zone, but gets it only as far as the corner. Here's Van Damme slowing the game down. Dapri right in front of him with Reed as well. Renholm looking to pass him in front of the net, no one there. Oh, and there was a... There was a clear from Gonzalo, but that was stopped by Zatni. Blake shoots from the point and a strong save right in the low goal, right in the heart of the Dragon. For the war midget, Roman Turan, who's looking to bounce back after probably not the best period hockey he's ever played, but he's nothing if not resilient, and I'm pretty sure the Le Petit Baguette is going to have a lot better period this time around. Dragons win the face of a Gonzalo rings it around the boards and it does come out of the zone this time. Peng just not fast enough, about a few feet short. Verdier on the other side. Passes it. Dampu's on the forecheck and Nuxtelis is out of the zone, so power play ending. And McGoey, I don't think he realizes, but Dragons have a three on one. Dampu's. McGoey, oh, and a great defensive play by Run Home. Trying to back check, but here comes Blake. One against two. Got to the middle. Look at the shoot again. No. McGoey right on his tail. In the boards, now someone's glove came off. I believe that's Blake's glove. And here's Tampus playing up the wing to Girard. And guess what? It's Girard versus Verdier. <laughs> one on one next to the boards again. Drops to Tampus. Tampus taking down to the corner. McGoy next to the boards. He's stronger from the Dragons. McGoy looking to shoot and he does. Good save by Rennell. Well, so again, not the best period he's ever had, but he comes to the point. Poon shoots and a glove save by Rennell. He decides to slow things down a little bit. After Dragons slightly gaining momentum after that penalty and making sure, making sure that that stops right there. So the offensive zone on the left of uh, offensive zone face off left of Reynel is Adney on the face of dot for the Dragons. And he's in his feet, but Rehak gets it. Rehak on the blue line, and that was offside, and the hand does go up. That was very slightly offside, just stick handle out of the zone. Zaotkin comes to the other side. Kerr Edwards plays it out of the zone, but Rehax right there kicks it to himself, tries to gather some speed from his own blue line and passes it up. And Nuxtell is up there for some reason. And exactly sure why, but that means Zadni is on the point. Hits Findila in the corner. Looks to pass it in front of the net. No one there. Hits the skate of Salzman. And UCL. Probably should have kept it out of the traffic, and he has a chance of Rehak coming on the, from a very short side. Almost impossible angle, and no problem for Reynel. The only chance to score from that angle is if you go, go high, and you go high real quick, which he didn't manage to do, so it was an easy, relatively easy glove save in the end for Reynel. Dupree, Girard, Magoey versus Van Damme, Peng, and Blake. Dupree loses the face-off, is run home behind the net, plays to Verdier, who goes back D to D. These two love to go, <laughs> love to D to D pass behind the net. They've been doing it all game long. And oh my goodness, and Peng goes and tries to hit Dupree and runs into the milk truck. Absolutely <laughs> floored by that one. He seems to be okay, bounces straight up, but you know, you know what they say, we, when he feels like to run into a brick wall? Well, that's what it looks like. I. I will tell you what it feels like, but I usually I'm the brick wall, so it's kind of out of my realm. Again, Girard on a very, very fun, <laughs> all the way to the other end, waiting at the far blue line, but Dupree gets it midair, and he goes to the UCL bench. New puck for the referee from the bench, or the scorer's table, rather. And we are taking a face-off right above the blue line towards the Roman Turin guarded Dragon's net. 
Dupree loses another face-off. Renholm plays it up. But Dupree gets to it. Magoi has Zirari in the middle, but couldn't get there. Magoi breaks his stick. Yes, Blake shoots. Oh, and that didn't miss by much. That was a great shot right between Konsala's legs. That was a very difficult shot for the goalie. And another high puck. Kirid, and I believe that's an offside. The referee, pretty sure, missed that one. But it either way, goes behind the net. Verdier plays D to D again. But here's Rehak. It bounces around the D. Tries to go around the world. Doesn't manage to do it. But Dupree stops it momentarily. Poon. Nixtelix harassed by Blake. And a good, strong skate by Nixtelix. He comes to the middle, loses the puck ever so slightly, and goes to the far side. Plays it deep. Dupree against Verdier in the corner. He comes to the point. Here's Poon. Tries to play it in front of the net, but the shot's pretty weak, and he doesn't reach any more Verdier. And now he has a pass to Blake, and he has a little book of Girard's playbook. Oh, and a strong defensive play by Rehak. Takes his man down. Blake wants a penalty. Arm doesn't go up. That's a borderline call. I couldn't see if he got the puck first or the man first, but there was definitely Rehak sliding on Blake's feet, and he's pleading his case to Harrison. Not happy about that at all, and I, I can see why. That could have easily been a penalty. But no, none called. So slightly frustrating for the Yeti's captain. Stampu's taking the face-off. Wins it back, gets his own, own face-off. And here's Poon, passes it to absolutely no one. There's Salzman, but Finnila chasing him down. Goes to the corner, Finnila puts his man to the boards, but not before they manage to play it out. It's Oli who gets it out of the zone. And that is number 36, who we don't even have on the game sheet, so I don't know who that is. Whoever it is, it gets absolutely hammered by Nick Stelis. And he has Finnila chasing the puck again. I believe that was Rachel Morse, who's listed as 38, but the number says 36. Well, we need to check that for the third period. But either way, the face-off is coming to the Dragons end. I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure why. Because it wasn't an icing. Or maybe I'm completely wrong. Let us know in the comments section. Either way, face off left of Turan Dump, who's in the face of Dot again and wins it. Findila plays it back. Nuxtelis with the puck. Tries to bring it up. No one there. Goes off the board. Tries to go to Rehak, but it's way too strong. And that's going to be another icing. Oh, no, they blow it off. Rehak absolutely hustling. Gets hammered by Runholm in the end boards. And UCL does manage to eventually wrestle the puck out. And here's Van Damme coming two against two against Keir Reed. Goes around Reed. And there's another, another bit of a chop to the legs. Or maybe he went down on his own because referees, no reaction from referees. And here's Derek Dampus coming up the middle. He's got some legs against Verdier. Suits. Oh, and he just misses the far side high. Must be that, that tweak that he's got. Because I can tell you from experience that the tweak got some G notes in it. And here comes Girard, taking it in. Girard Verdier with a great poke check. Very good defensive play by him. Goes up the middle. Good stick lift by McGoey. Peng was trying to get to that. Didn't. Kier. Reed plays it out of the zone. Oh, it's all the way to run home. Verdier. There's the D to D pass again. Plays up the wing. Here's Oli. Oli lost it in his feet a bit. Har harassed by several dragons. McGoey takes a tumble. There could have been a chance to go up there with Girard, but, but Verdier to the rescue. He is playing again the far side. Zadny on his skin. And here comes McGoey as well, double teaming him up the boards. And McGoey goes in for the big hit. Verdier just sneaks by. And a slippery move by the Frenchman next to the boards. Goes behind the net. Look for the pass in front. No one there. Still looking. Looking for options. Finds one. Blake from the point. Cuts, goes left. Shoots. It goes far side. Roman Turan. Bit out of the out of the position there. And now it's a foot race. Girard versus Sautkin. Sautkin's gonna win this one. But Girard. Oh, it's in his feet. Good play. Eventually, he'll look the most confident, but he got the job done. Blake goes up. Oh, tried to go to Van Damme. No one there. And Nuxtelli scores shoulder to shoulder. Strong play by both of them. Poon goes behind the net as well. And Nuxtelli takes, <laughs> takes a tumble. Here comes Girard. Put his shoulder on him as well. Sautkin keeps it in. Peng. This is better from UCL. Ooh, and Van Tam takes a bit of a run, and Nuxtelli, he, they don't like each other. They were having words at the end of the first period. We know that already. And in the other end, here comes Girard. Pass to the middle. Zadny on, on the wrong hand. Passes in front to Girard. Oh, what a great slippery pass. Oh, and then Zadny goes and blows, blows a tire. And 
a goal. Um, um, sorry, <laughs> other way goes Blake. Van Damme. Oh, and a back check by Omar Rehak. Oh, and here's in front of the net, and no stopping that. What a pass by Blake. Van Damme all alone in the middle of three dragons, and he makes absolutely no mistake. Goes far side low. You can't blame that on no one. Ain't anybody stopping that shot. Very well played by UCL, and takes a little bit longer to get scoring in this period. 4-3, and we are about seven and a half minutes in. So it's not, the, it's not the, quite the goal fest that it was in the, in the first period, but hey, there's nothing wrong with playing a bit of defensive hockey. Here's Oli, good pass to the middle. Kerr Edwards shoots, easy blocker save, wasn't the strongest shot. Rönholm goes to the corner with Dupree, here's Rehak. Stopped there by UCL, I uh, was on offside. I believe that was Ben Lee who was trying to go in, but couldn't just, Oli couldn't just get out of the zone in time. And the face-off comes just outside the blue line. That was an easy win for Dupree in the face of Sergio Konsala, goes off the board to Finnila. Couple of Finns connecting there on the left side. Finnila comes in against Verdier, good stick check. Finnila goes to the corner, can't keep it. Can keep it deep and Consola couldn't stop it on the on the blue line. The Kerr Edwards ch harassing him. Reed uh, tries to go to Dapri, but Renholm, the good stick lift there. Verdier. Dapri behind the net tries to go sneaky sneak pass to Victor Finnila. But good defensive play again. UCL play very well with their sticks, especially in the defensive zone. Breaking these dangerous passes. Especially the short ones the Dragons are trying to play in front of the net. Now we're playing a bit of pitch and catch in the neutral zone. Consola to Finnila again. Dapri in the middle. Finnila passes and o offside? I, I, I must have been an offside. I didn't think it was an offside, but referee saw something else. Can't always agree with the stripes, we know that, but uh, no harm, no foul. They were probably right, I just wasn't looking. I'm not trying to discredit them. Face of a dot, Dan Poos wins it back to Poon, who makes a bit of a dangerous pass. Nuxtelis and, and Blake having a bit of a tussle. Oh, and a great pass by Girard. Here comes Dan Poos. Shoots! Oh, and I believe that grace just off the crossbar or the glow of Raynell. That was an absolute sizzler. Here comes Dan Poos again, trying to get the speed over the neutral zone. Here's Blake. Puts him against the boards, but doesn't stop him. Stops the puck, though. And here's Girard. Look at the pass in front. Doesn't get it. Try to wrap around. Oh, and Raynell, good stop. Oh, and Salzman is, is still stumbling there. Oh, sorry, that was Peng, not Salzman. Apologies, Salzman was right next to him. And we will have a face-off to left of Raynell. Dan Poos versus Van Dam once again. Good win, good win by Dan Poos, base the state, trade back. Saltkin next to the boards, plays around Magoi. And they eventually do get it out of the corner. Van Damme, good hit by McGoey, but that's going to be an offside. Dampus didn't get off the ice in time, and Girard, as he entered the zone, that's the problem when you have the long change. You have to be very careful when, when and where you take the face-offs, I'm sorry, line changes from, and a bit of a failure there from the Dragons, potentially stopping a pretty decent chance. with just over 10 minutes remaining in the second period. So we're reaching the halfway point of the game. UCL still up 4-3 with Harry Blake taking the puck. Harassed by Finnila there in the corner, just flips it out of the zone. And referee Harrison, oh, goes through her feet. Nuxtelis gets it eventually. Stops Van Dam right there. And this looks to be an icing. No, it's waved off. Salzman behind his own net. Doesn't stop there. Good pass, and here comes UCL. <clears throat> Keep Ryan Poon going for the big hit and playing himself hopelessly out of position there. A good recovery by Zadny playing responsible defensive hockey, a brand of hockey that he's very much known for. Oh, and that was a dangerous dive went off the track and skate and almost fooled to run and slid, slid him short side. Z Zadny trying to play it out of the zone, runs over Salzman at the point, both go down. And Rehak in the far side, battling with Renholm. 
and we have a charging penalty for that collision between Zadny and Salzman on the point. I was wondering if they're going to call him something because that was a bit of a trucking. I think that's the technical term for that. So once again, the penalties not really doing Dragons any favors. It's another UCL power play, as mentioned just under 10 minutes ago. 9 minutes 39 exactly, and the referee having another chat with the Dragons player, making sure that there's no further tomfoolery or escalation of things to the wrong direction. So Dapri against... I believe that is Lee <coughs> on the offensive zone. Oh no, sorry, that's that's Rafe some more. So I really need to start getting this right. Well, they should have given me the right game sheet. That's what should have happened here. Never mind. Verdier, Renholm. McCoy on the forecheck. Oh, and it just goes underneath his stick. And that's a dangerous play. And it's a Dupree on a breakaway. Here comes Michael Dupree. Shoots. Oh, and it's a great pocket save by Raynell. There's a great chance for the Dragons captain. But an equal... Re reply from and it's gonna be another penalty for the Dragons I'm not sure what happened behind the play but they are calling an interference penalty on I'm not I honestly didn't, I was looking at the play going the other way I'm not sure who's going to the box Verdier looks like he's volunteering to go to the box but UCL was with the puck I don't know why they didn't blow the whistle immediately but there we go Verdier going to the box two minutes for interference so that evens the things up. It'll be a 32 second Dragons power play in 1 minute 29, 28, sorry. And Consola comes in and gives the bench a little gift there. Looks to be a piece of tape. So it's 4 on 4 hockey. Van Dam, Blake, Gerard Dampus. Offensives on a great shot immediately. Immediately from the face-off, that was uh, almost caught Reynold by surprise. Had to be sharp there, and Dampus with the battle in the corner, comes to the middle, got Gerard. Oh, and he flips it off the post. That was a great backhand short side. Another shot. Oh, and that goes off the glove. It's a good pressure by Dampus. Being all over the Yeti's defense there. And that goes all the way to be an icing. UCL pretty much needed that because they were in trouble. So we got another face-off. Left of Raynell this time around. Let's see if they try to get another one-timer right off the face-off here. Oh, no, they're, they're talking to Reed. Is Dampus going to go straight back to Reed? Yep, he is. And here it is. The shot comes. Oh, and he bounces off someone and pucks free for a moment. And Raynell gets his big catcher on it. But you could see Dampus told, told Reed there in the face-off, go right there. I'll put it on your blade. And he did exactly that. The set plays from Dragons in the face-off have been... Working out a treat recently. Only thing missing is a goal. Van Damme and Dampus. A couple of North Americans there going at it. Dampus has a chance to go in front of the net again. There's a pass. Gonzala. Oh, and he shoots right in the logo. Rainer, where's the puck? It's, is it still free? It's been the defender's legs, but the referee blows the whistle. The puck was, I believe, free to be played, but the referee must have lost the sight of it because there was an absolute yard sale in front of the net. But another good chance from the point. Gonzalo just probably not getting the exact shot that he wanted. Pretty sure Aquino has something to say that about after the game. But we another offensive zone face of four on four. It's all feel like repeating myself a little bit here. Van Dam just played out of the zone. Squeezes Dampus next to the boards. It does come out of the zone. Here's Blake. Passes straight up to Dampus. It's Gonzalo versus Mac versus Van Dam. And here's Keir Reed. You see him in the middle of a change, so we got a two on two situation. Keir Reed coming down the middle, passes it to Girard, puts his man down, breaks angles. Harry Blake, here comes Rafael Girard, still on it. Oh, and he just misses on the far side. Almost a great individual effort and a shot from an impossible angle, but no fooling Reynold there. So Dragons piling it on four on four, so clearly enjoying the open ice. They have, surely they have to get a line change there. <laughs> They've been absolutely buzzing in the Yeti's end. I wonder how the short bench is going to be affecting them on the third period because they are flying out there right now. It's going to be a war of attrition soon. Dupree on the face of Dot. It's pretty even Stevens, but Renholm gets in and flips it out of the zone. It's Nick Stelly is going back for it. Peng harassing him. Nick Stelly just plays it out of the zone. He doesn't play it out of the zone. Oh, and it's a, that takes a nasty deflection. 
but a good defensive play eventually preventing UCL from getting to the rebounds and a strong save from, from Turan. That was a very, very nasty looking bounce. It went off the stick and a skate, I believe. Being alert there. So Dragon's power play now for the next 30 seconds. There, We are full here. Oh, they <laughs> left the penalty box door open. That's the problem when you don't have the attendance. Referee goes to close it. And we are... Oh, it's close. No, no, now it's closed. Good. Here we go. Harrison drops the puck. Salzman from the point just puts it deep. UCL, of course, is trying to kill this penalty off with seven minutes and seven and a half minutes left in the second period. Dragons play, trying to play it out of the zone. I'm not sure why they wouldn't try to do this in a more controlled fashion. Poon goes to Findila. He's got Dupree in the middle and he goes right off his skates. A big man almost takes a tumble. He could have let that go for an icing, but he didn't. Probably a good idea. Ooh, that was almost a delay of game. That was not far from going out of the out of the playing surface there. Dragons still inside the zone. Rehak still managed to get it. Oh, Rehak going down the middle. Just loses the control of the puck, but that means Dapri can get to the corner and get to the puck. And UCL now gathering speed from their own zone. Rehak right there. Morris. Loses the puck and Nuxteli shoots, but he hits someone. Finnila. Far side. Sadney plays it down the corner, but no one home. Apart from Renholm, who plays it behind the net. Salzman. Looks for his options, but there's only black sweaters. Now he finds Verdier. Verdier coming in right wing. Try to cut to the middle. Here he comes. And a shot is mothered by Poon and Reed. Salzman hit by Poon ever so slightly in the corner. And Dragons. That has to be an icing, and it is. Didn't hit no one, there was no one going up front. And we are going back to the left of Roman Turan, I believe. Oh, no, we go right off Roman Turan. Fair play. So 4-3, only one goal in this period, which is a bit of a contrast. Contrast to the first one. So it shows that more, both of the both of the teams and especially the goalies have slowly settled in. Oh, someone takes a seat. That was Kier Reed takes a seat in front of the net. Easily recognized from the very bright, bright green stick that he has. Very visu visual on the eyes. And here he is with that said green stick. Tries to play it out of the zone and gets hammered. Runholm keeps it in. Another big board battle, but Runholm comes out of it. Tries to shoot short side. He takes his own rebound. Oli, Finnila just taps it around him, Saotkin keeps it in, Zatni still not out, now it is, Finnila just dumps it into the zone looking for Rehak to chase it, oh it's a bit of a weird bounce, and Reynel decides to take a face off, and by doing that Magoi, Girard and Dampus with Konzala and Reed hop on the ice for Dragons, and it's Blake, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Blake, Van Damme and, and Peng on the other side with Verdier and Salzman, I believe. And Dampus wins another face-off and he comes right to Girard, but that hits a leg. Girard. Oh, oh, no, it never reaches him. And he has a pass to the left-hand side and here comes Harry Blake. Tries to cut it to the middle. Reed with good skates. Stops it. Verdier harassed by Dampus. Salzman. Drops it down the middle, bit of a bit of a risky pass, and it turns out to be very risky. And here comes Girard, and he just hits Reynel right in the stick, and he goes over the net. Skill continues to battle behind the net. Here's Van Damme. Oh, and another risky pass. McGowie stops it this time. Oh, and it just goes between Dampus' legs. That was a great idea. Consola can't keep it in, not fast enough. Chased by Peng. Dampus goes far side. McGowie enters the zone. Takes a shot. Easy glove save for Reynel. No traffic, no nothing weird about that. Four and a half minutes and change left in the relatively low scoring second period. Tom, the producer, giving me the nod here. Cameraman slash producer slash technician slash sound man. Um, <laughs> you could always call him in a one-man band here. There we go. Renhold finally makes it to the face of Dot. And a good win again. Girard turns immediately. Dampus and Girard, have they been practicing this face of plays? Because they are working. Nuxelis, oh, Magoi tried to get a stick on that, and that wasn't far at all. 
Probably not the best shot for a deflection, but if he does get a stick on, that's very, very sneaky. So we repeat the face off immediately on the right side of Reynel. Dampus wins again. Luke Stellis just decides to pop it in this time. Doesn't try to go in front of the net. Girard. Nope, Dampus comes out of it. Good poke check. It's another 2v2 battle in the corner. McGoy would be in front of the net. Girard tries to go, and he does! Girard forces in front of the net, and McGoy goes far side. Almost a carbon copy of the UCL goal earlier. And it is 4-4. We are all tied up with 4-14 left in the second period. There's a lot of fours in the scoreboard right now. Um, <laughs> it, although it does show the third period, which is wrong. Just look at the stream. Stream, stream is correct. Just follow, the, follow our scoreboard. It's better in every way. So, we all tied up. Let's see. What is UCL's response? The responses have usually been swift on both sides. And here comes Van Dam over the, over the blue line. Takes a shot. Bit of a weak shot and comes straight out of the zone. Verdier plays it up to Blake. Blake goes down. I don't believe there was any foul play there. Just stumbled on something. Van Dam shoots. Uh, that hit Gonzalez stick and goes high and short and everything else. Dapri plays it off the boards. Rehak. Rehak plays a little bit too far. Too far for anyone to reach, apart from Verdier. Run home. Verdier behind his own net, looking for his options. Finds Blake on the right hand side. Blake. Ooh, a bit of a difficult pass. But Blake. Oh, and that's going to be a massive offside. About, I don't know, 10 foot, maybe 15 foot. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to notice that one. Unless you're Matt Duchesne, you get away with it every now and then. So, that means the face-off is going to be ever so slightly left of Roman Turan's net. Just above the blue line. Now it's Zatni, Girard and McGoey on the line. So Dampu's not on the ice for some reason and Girard... Does take the puck and tries to go short side and he does! Raynell is down and he just goes over his shoulder. I was saying earlier, if you want to score short side, you have to go high. And there you see why. Just over the shoulder of Raynell. I don't think he was expecting him to get it that high from that angle, but a very, very impressive shot by Rafael Girard. I think he's been looking that a few times today. And he finally gets it. So, after UCL goes up, the Dragons come storming back and it's 5-4. So this seems to be the theme, <laughs> theme of the game. The lead, no lead, like, you don't want to go up because you're going to go down very shortly after. And let's see if the Dragons can keep it up. Oh, and it's just about a foot in front of McGoey. Girard with a good pass. And they, they're calling that an icing? Okay. Fair. fair. Not sure. <laughs> Not sure if that was an icing, but... Oh, I think the referees acknowledged that it was their mistake. And they're bringing the, bringing the face off to the neutral zone. With exactly three minutes on the dot left in the period. And the face off is tied up, but UCL eventually comes out of it. But here's McGoey coming down the right wing. Going against Verdier, who plays a strong shoulder. Saotkin in front of the net. And McGoey is now happy with Van Damme. And they're going at it. Give him a slash. And McGoey scratches him underneath the chin and says, K -k -k Come here, boy. But no further action now. Some <laughs> pointing and shouting. So, Van Dam not making any friends out there. Nick Stellis and McGoey and uh, who, who else? You know, <laughs> referee goes to the Dragons bench and makes tries to have a little calming, calming uh, powwow with the captains. I'm assuming, and the players involved. Good job by the referee, I must say. You, we often dog the referees in in the UK, but I must say that they've keeping a pretty good lead under this game, especially seeing the big hits in the first period. They could have easily got another hand, but he hasn't. It's been a good physical-ish physical, f physical -ish game. Clean. Dragons have been taking silly penalties, but that's nothing, nothing dirty about it. That's just being silly. Verdier, directing traffic from his own zone, goes to Blake on, the, on his right. He goes off the boards to Van Damme, and here he comes, the big man, 66, down the middle, looking for a shot, and he does. It just misses the glove, and it was a huge rebound off the boards. And here comes Verdier, does keep it in. That hits Rehak. And here's Finnila. That bounces off Gonzalez Gate. The tempo has all of a sudden picked up. Looks like we're playing ping pong again. Van Damme keeps it in. Or takes it in, sorry. 
Referee a little bit on the way. Van Damme looks for his options. Finds one from the middle. But there's a good stick by Kier Reed And he's trying to chase it. Omar Rehak has, Reha has a chance. Oh! -ho! And the puck just hops over his plate. Wasn't able to take it into zone. Which means that UCL will gain the possession. Verdier harassed by Finnila. D to D once more. It's Blake. Poon right in front of him. And Blake loses a glove again. And loses his stick in the process as well. And he would want to love to have those now. Because here's Poon in the neutral ice. Taking the puck away from UCL. And here comes Girard going the other way once more. Guess who? Verdier right on his tail. Dampus. Verdier. And Verdier does skate it out in the end. Oh, and it just goes past Rachel Morse. Oh, and Roman Duran playing physical now in the corner. What is he doing? Get out of there. You're a goalie. Oh, no, no, he's fighting in front of his net. Grenholm shoots on the point. Oh, it's a difficult shot. There's got a lot of crowd in front. And now it's another foot race. It's Rehak versus Grenholm. He's got Gerard in the middle. He's going to get the puck to him. Rehak looking for a shot, but that hit the net on the short side. Uh, wrong side of the net if you're if you're Dragons fan. And we are entering the final minute of play. Nuxtelis puts it in. Grenholm gloves it down, but it doesn't go out of the zone. He has, he has Dupree. Again, Grenholm on the way. Gerard in the corner. 45 seconds left. Are the Dragons going to find another one and go to the intermission with two, two goal advantage? We are about to find out. Nuxtell is put in front of the net and there's Girard again. And UCL absolutely panic mode right now, trying to get out of the zone. Rehak, it's in his feet. They're still lifting the sticks. It's still not out of the zone. Oh, and now finally the Yetis relieve the pressure and go the other way. Peng shoots. Blocker save. Peng gets hit hard by Poon in the corner. Puts him in his posterior. Oh, and Kerr Edwards, oh, and that was a dangerous play. That was a good shot in front of the net. And again, he hit a skate and it almost went in. What a sneaky play. There have been good bounces from those. So there you go. Just goes to show it's never a wrong idea to shoot the puck. 13.3 seconds left. Dragons up 1-0. UCL with defensive zone. Face off plenty of time. Plenty of time to tie, tie the game up before going to the third, which would be a huge boost for them for sure. And he calls to point to Rennholm, who's looking to shoot. No, he plays at the corner. Do they know they have a little bit of time? They're running out of time here. Rennholm has to shoot if he's going to. Nope, still passing. G tries to go to the middle, and it's Girard, and they will run out of time. And whew, that was a active second period. If the first one had a lot of gore in this, scoring, this had a lot of everything else. And but Dragons win the period 2-1 and go to the innovation with one goal lead and yes we uh, the, the the producer and director has confirmed we will have a couple of player interviews in this intermission so stay tuned for that we'll go set that up for you and we'll be back in a few minutes
just uh, that's just the game that we've learned how to play. That's the dragon style, and uh, we're just sticking to our game plan. Sounds good. So, once again, what's the, do you want to change anything going into or maybe build up a couple of abilities or? Uh, yeah, we'd love to give our goalie a little bit more support. He's uh, he's playing a hell of a game. Uh, make sure we get pucks out from uh, away from him. Don't let him uh, leave him out to dry. Get a couple extra goals to uh, you know let us breathe a little bit and uh, just keep playing the way we know how to play. Okay, Sam. Thank you. Good luck in the third. Thanks, Kyle.
and welcome back for the third period and the final period, most likely, of the 2021 London Ice Varsity as UCL takes the face of win. Renholm going back to his own zone to get the puck. Starting Dragons up one goal, 5 4. Starting 5 on 5 this time around, no penalties. On the board for either team. UCL has only had one. I think Dragons have had four or five. It's been a bit of a... Well, can't say not or more broken game from the Dragons. It's just been made a few few silly mistakes. And uh, probably kind of slightly undisciplined plays. Harry Blake trying to go up the right wing. And uncharacteristically passes it to the middle. But there's only Dragons. And Nick Stelis goes to the corner and plays it strong off the point. Verdier makes a great move. Verdier coming down the middle. Oh, what a pass to Peng. But McGoey is right there to break that one up. Now, one thing to definitely keep an eye on in the third period is the fact that, oh, he has a Girard. Oh, but the ice is fresh ice, so the box is going to go all the way up to Raynell. Oh, no, the play, dangerous play at the pre How does he miss the net? Oh, my goodness. The Dragons captain and Girard plays it in front of the net again. But no, that was an excellent chance for the Dragons. And here comes Blake. Shoots. Oh, that hits Romano on the stick. Instead of the blocker, again, weird dropping shot, and there's a strong hit by Girard. I'm not sure which UCL player, but they are down, they're holding their chin. So Dragons now, pa oh, chance to Rehak in front of the net. I'm still following the UCL player, trying to get you the number. He has Reed who shoots, that was Peng, number, number 23, who got, the, who got the hit in the far end. He looks to be okay now. Probably just a little bit shaken up to begin with. Takes a line change now. Here's Van Damme. Going down the middle. Makes a good move. But Reha comes back. Just lost the puck for a split second there. It's looking a bit of this... I'm not... I can't say sluggish. But it's looking a little bit messy right now from both sides. Can't really say that either, either team has come out... Out of the gates very strongly in the third period. But you have to remember that both teams fairly short benched. I was just going to say earlier, before before we had almost another Girard breakaway, that I have to keep an eye on the Dragons, because they do have only two lines here today. And um, that is definitely going to come to play later. Oh, Faceoff is heading all the way to the other end. And what, it, what happened is that Oli, Charlie Oli, has been penalized for two minutes. I didn't see where from. But them are the apples right now. So we're going from Dragos power play to start the third period. Just over two minutes in. Poon, can he keep it in the zone? Yes, he can. But this door opens outside of the ring. The referee needs to blow the door dead or, or game dead. But <laughs> McGoey gets off the ice and closes the door. Good play. Didn't even have to. <laughs> didn't even skip a beat. Okay. Well, here comes Girard down the middle. Verdi and Runhol. But he comes out to Zadni. Shot from the point. But that goes just wide. Van Damme and McGoey go in the corner. They were words earlier as well. Let's keep an eye on those two. Poon <laughs> gets put on his side by Van Damme over there. Maybe the big man's a little bit frustrated. Are they going to call a penalty on Van Damme for that? Cross-checking or maybe charging or interference. Looks like it because... Yep, that's going to be a 5-on-3 for the Dragons. No, they're calling roughing. So... According to the referee, that was hit, too, hit was too high. So one minute, eight seconds for five on three for Dragons. This is going to be, if there ever was one, a golden opportunity to romp to a two-goal lead. Possibly even three, if you can score on both of the power plays. Rehak, Dampus, Dapri, Reed and Gonzala on the ice for Dragons. While as Verdier and Runholm with Blake up front for the UCL. Oh, and it's an immediate shot from straight from the face off. Only three seconds was used from the penalty there. We, we take the face off. Dabri with the straight back. Gonzala looks for his options. Got plenty of time. Oh, and he hits Blake. And that hit him very sorely. And Blake is down. That is a possibility that he... Possibility that that hit him right in the worst spot imaginable which I think we all know that I don't need to say what it is I think we all know what it is so he is down he was banging the ice so he's clearly in some sort of discomfort UCL players 
I believe it's Ben Lee who's there as the first player. Worst first player to help him out. Consola also checking, checking how his uh, opponent is. Of course, you never want to see anyone go down. So we take gonna take a gonna take a minute to see how the situation progresses. And I guess this little little break is a good time to mention. Apologies about the the little audio mishap there on the on the interview. That was well, I was us us learning how to do this thing. So. We'll get it figured out, no worries, as we got halfway through the second interview. So, Blake is getting up, as you can probably hear from the from the stick taps. So, it probably just caught him in a very awkward place. But he's able to slide off the ice with the help of Harrison and Verdier. He will probably take a few minutes, catch his breath, and make sure that everything is where he should be on the bench. And get back on the ice, no doubt, Blake is a player. But let's hope that he's nothing, nothing more serious than a little knock. A little knock on the wrong area. So, after another stoppage, we have 58 seconds left on the 5 on 3. 1 minute 50 in the penalty is all together. We retake the face of right of Reynel, the pre on the face of Dot. Dampu's on his left, and he comes straight back to Consola again. He has Reed. Look at the shoot, but the puck just slides away from his stick. Rehak, let's go to the middle, shoots. Oh, it's a weak shot, but it just fools Reynell. He bounces out, goes straight to Dampus. Dragons need to pull it, make it a little bit wider than battle in the corner when you have this many, this kind of man advantage. Dampus, Dapri in front of the net. It's going to point. Reed shoots. Oh, and he goes straight in. A great, great screen by Dapri. And that shot, Reynell probably never saw it coming and go straight in from the five hole. So there it is. The goal that I mentioned earlier, 6-4 Dragons, the two-goal lead with 16-24 remaining in the third period. And still, 1 minute 24 left in the second penalty for Van Damme. I think they just took the wrong penalty off the, <laughs> off the board there. There's a... Uh, Yep, that's what they did. Well, we won't do make that mistake in the broadcast, so don't worry about that. Oops. I accidentally kicked the table where the microphone is. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I think the referees are now trying to figure out how to get the right penalty back on the board. Otherwise, it's going to get real confusing for the person, especially in the penalty box, trying to get out of there at time. Referee is having a little conference in the center ice. I believe they're going to go to the box and tell him when he needs to leave. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. And I'm getting the instructions right now, now, right now, to just the right of us here in the in the media lounge. Yep, there we go. Another powwow at the, at the penalty box. And I believe there's something going to the scorers table as well. I think they're trying to figure out how the scoreboard works, but. No time to waste for that. Let's get going with the game. And that is exactly what Eva Harrison does. Rehak enters the zone, shoots way too high. Dampus in the corner, plays it point to Consala. Consala looking for his options, an easy deflection shot for Dampus, but it goes around the, around the net. Kieri shoots, and that hits another, <laughs> that hits Peng down low, but luckily nothing for, as bad as for Blake. And that, another shot that goes way up high. Dampus plays the corner. There's Dapri with the, his eight foot stick. Gonzala again from the point, shoots, deflection, and he goes in! Dampus in front of the net, Gonzala from the point, and there it is. The second power play goal in the trot. Van Damme not happy in the penalty box, but why would he be? His team is down by three goals now. And Dragons slowly creeping away from the Yetis at the beginning of the third. But then again, this is exactly what Yetis did at the beginning of the first, and then they, they, the Dragons came romping back. And you can't count this guy out, as long as Harry Blake, he seems to be talking to someone without a helmet at the bench now, but he's, he's up and walking, so he's hopefully feeling better and back on the ice in no time. But they will need his offensive prowess if they are to come back in this game. McGoy with the deflection and neutral, so they negate the icing. Verdier going behind the net. And McGoy tries to play the puck, and he does. Good forecheck in the corner that was Kerr Edwards who he stole the puck from midair tried to go back behind the net to Girard he has Van Damme straight over the penalty box and stumbles over the over the face of Dot and that's gonna go back to 
Cahoon, chased by Lee. Nick Stellis tries to go down the middle. Gerard. McGoey dumps it in. Dragons go deep with two. Zadny. Run home behind the net. Verdier. McGoey try almost gets it midair. There behind the net. Van Dam. Straight to Zadny. Oh, and a well, almost a potential collision that never materialized. But here comes Runholm down the middle. Passes to Van Dam. Van Ham shoots. Oh, and it's a glove safe by to run and it just goes over the net. And Poon behind the net. <laughs> gives uh, Kerr Edwards, who came in flying in, gives him a bit of shot. A bit of a shot behind the net. Not happy about that. Ooh, and Verdier trying to take a run at Nuxtelis. Slight frustration starting to seep in from the UCL side. Kredvars and Lee trying to play it in. Here's Dampus trying to skate it out of the zone and he does. He's got Finnila on the far side. Tries to go to Girard other ways. Other side. Hit by Verdier. Verdier and Girard pushing and shoving now. They're not happy with each other still. And I think Girard is going to go. Oh, they're both going to go for roughing. I think Girard landed the firmer punch. But referee has probably rightfully called penalties on both of these players because well it was it takes two to tango as they say well I don't know why it took me so long to remember that saying but <laughs> so we got another stint of four on four hockey here for two minutes and as we saw last time, four on four, very fruitful dragons. No scoring, but almost relentless pressure. And here's Dampus with Finnila and Gonzala and Reed on the point. Gonzala has it. Dumps it in for Dampus, who's trying to trying to go in. Take a clapper. Almost shoots Salzman's stick into the stands as well. And Blake is back on the ice. That's great to see. So no worse for rear. Probably just a little little bit of a shock that he got. <laughs> Hit in the hit in the hit in the uh, gentleman's privates. Dampus. And here's Blake. Look at the go around Consola. Lift his stick. Oh, and it just just trickles past his stick. Reed. Here's Finnila. Passes Dampus on it right on his skates. Who skates? Oh, so here's Finnila. Great pass. Tries to slide it far side. That didn't miss by much. Reed shoots. Ooh, a strong shot from a weird position. That's probably why it went so high. Gonzala keeps it in just in front of Blake. Oli tries to play it out. Has a man in the middle. Doesn't pass it to him. Gonzala tries to flip it out to Reed and does, but Oli comes back. Strong play by Oli. Steals it. Here comes Blake. Around against three dragons. Tries to guard down Dupree, but strong defensive play and a big. Michael Scully Dupree galloping down the right wing. Oh, it makes a great move down the short left right side. Tries to go short side, but a good defensive player. Run home. Went, went around Saotkin. And here's, here's Rehak. Run home. But it stopped at the point. And he goes again in front of the net. Here's Dupree. Rehak. And again, Blake gets in, in there with his stick. And trying to go for point for Poon. No, nope. Rehak comes out of it from the point. And here's Nuxelli. Shoots. Good blocker save. Run home. Hit by Rehak. Still comes out with the puck. And that will be an icing. Or it... I thought it was going to be. It is not going to be an icing. Waved off. And here comes Poon. Streaking with his long locks down the middle. Tries to stick handle around Van Damme. No dice there. Again, strong. Good stick play. The stick play from UCL has been very strong today. They've stopped a lot of... Lot of dangerous chances and I'm pretty sure the penalty do box door is still open but the referee needs to close it because if someone hits that it's going to open and that's no bueno meanwhile on the hockey game Girard takes the puck goes against Salzman tries to make a power move does but Van Dam makes an even more powerful move and pushes him off the puck and this one slides off the or out of the zone rather to Ran Reed Oh, sorry, that's Gonzala stopping and starting behind the net. Reed's on the other side. Gonzala goes up the wing. McGoey tries to chip it down the middle. No chance. Verdier. That was too many men on the ice for a moment there, but you see I get away with one. Sautkin. Verdier. You see looking for breakout options, but high pressure from Dragons. 
if the pressure was too low at the beginning. And here's Thomas McGoey looking to shoot. And that's a great block by Verdier. He's putting his body on, on the line all game long. And now Van Damme goes after McGoey in the corner. And these two battle again. And there's <laughs> a bit of stick holding and arm raising saying, I didn't do anything, Cole, a ref. But, um, oh, yep. Yep, yep, that's as I thought. They did do something because Van Damme is going to the box once more. That is two minutes. I believe the sign was hooking. So the battle next to the board where he was going after McGoey. Raising of the arms did the work. And it's another Dragon's power play. 50 second, 57 seconds and 10 minutes left in the third period. Dragon's up by three goals with two power play goals right at the beginning of the... And we're having a massive battle. Re the penalty box door versus playing a referee. And the door eventually caves in. Dampus, Finnila, Rehak against Blake and I believe that is Rachel Morse on the UCL side on the offense. Verdier, Renholm, Poon and Nixtelis on the defense, respectively on each side. Rehak straight from the face off, tries to flip it in front of the net for Dampus and Dampus goes and it goes too high. When you close, go high, but he went way too high. That was... I would have been in the 12th row if the glass wasn't there. Runholm dumps it in and Blake goes in deep against Nuxtelis. Nuxtelis with the strong play and takes it out of the zone. I don't know if he remembers that they're on power play, but they probably should be breaking out and not dumping it in. And that's going to be an offside situation. That is now cleared. Dampus takes it in. Looks to drop it to Reha. Cannot because Blake's on the way. Dampu shoots from an impassable angle, it comes to Finnila almost, oh, and it's a diving play by Blake. Poon from the point shoots, but it comes straight to Blake, who just dumps it in. And clearly either he's hurt or he doesn't have any juice left in the tank because he goes just and dumps it in, doesn't even try to chase it. Oh, and that's another almost too many men on the ice. And here comes Girard, shoots. Oh, and he goes in! Girard with no traffic in front that sneaks through Raynell somehow. I believe that was on the blocker side, right underneath the armpits, and it's another power play goal. So you could say the power play has been the friend of the Dragons in the third period, because it's three power play goals. We are just two seconds under ten minutes, so halfway point in the third. And Dragons have opened up a sizable lead now. UCL seems to be a little bit like deers in the headlights right now. Not sure where to go, what to do. But let's see if they... What is left in the tank for the old Yetis? The yeah, old UCL. I did mention before the game that it is completely possible to win hockey games and even tournaments with nine men. Um, nine players, rather. And here we see another, another example of that. It's Salzman behind the net. Lee. Reed tries to just play it out of the zone. And you see uh, Dragon, sorry, dump it out of the zone and Zaotkin just dives out of the way of the Girard hit. And McGoey shoots now and goes short side high to rebounds right there behind the post, next to the post. Girard doesn't get to it. It's Peng. And Kier doesn't, Kier Reed doesn't keep it in. Gonzala puts it back into the straight log jam. And here is Zautkin turning around. Whoop. And a good hit by Dupree there, separating the man from the puck. And UCL eventually gets the puck in their own zone. Zautkin goes to the far side. Lee, Consola on the way and stops the man gently. He's a gentle man, we all know that. And he showed it right there. Verdier goes back to his own corner. Looking for passing options. Rehak in front of the net during the forecheck. Blake swoops down. Verdier doesn't see him. Goes to run home. And now the pass comes. But that's going to be an icing. As the puck bounces off the end boards. As Nick Stelis was going after it. And... 
Yep, there we go. Face-off going to be left of Raynell. Sam Zetny taking the face-off with Finley and Rehak on his wings. Against Blake. Blake wins it clearly back. Rehak goes the corner to hit Verdier. They're having a bit of words there as well. There's been a couple of, a couple of these conversations had during this game. Oh, and a great pass to Peng, who goes around Poon. Doesn't get it here, Blake. Oh, what a good save by Roman Turan. And someone's complaining about something again. I, I believe that was just Zadni falling down. Oh my God, he gives a little bit of fist bump with, uh, with Blake. No hard feelings. That was an accident, the both players know it. Van Damme on the face of Dot, wins it back. Rehak gets to it and plays it out of the zone. And there's a two rush now. The skating Verdier versus Rehak. Verdier wins it for momentarily, but he has Rehak pass it in front of the net and run home. The good stick, but it's going to be another UCL penalty. This time it's Verdier for tripping as Rehak went hard into the end boards. Bounces up immediately, the resilient little man that he is. But this time it's Verdier heading off to the penalty box. And as we discussed, Earlier on in the in the intermission that you didn't hear, but we did <laughs> we, we did have this discussion about the penalties and the penalties the Dragons were taken at the beginning of the game, and what that was attributed to, and this, and Sam Sadi said that that was probably just them, you know, getting used to pack playing competitive hockey again, and this could probably be attributed to maybe tiredness, slight frustration possibly on the UCL side after the lot of goals by the Dragons. And here on the Dragons power play, Kira Reed shoots and McGoey gets a stick on it, but that goes just over the net. Gerard looking for a pass in front, no one home. Oh, try to go to McGoey, but a good stick by Ron Holm and Puck's right there, where is it? Raydale has it underneath the blocker, I was a little bit confused there a second myself. So, seven and a half minutes on the dot left, one minute 37 left in the penalty, Dragons up 8-4. Opening up a sizable lead at the beginning of the third, thanks to several power plays. And here's another, stretch it out even more. Comes to Keir Reed, who shoots. And the puck bounces in front of the net. And it goes just far wide on the far side. Dan Poole's trying to put it in. Gerard hits his man. It comes to Consola. Consola shoots, another deflection shot. And Reynel covers it down. I believe that hit Renholm on the skate. So Dan Poole's there with his stick again. Trying to deflect it in. But not successful this time around. Blake versus Dampus and Dampus does win it and he's carried again at the point, kind of stumbles over his own feet. Gonzala just manages to struggle it into next to the boards. Gerard looking for McGoy in the middle, still looking for McGoy, finds him, but he hits Blake in the skate and here comes Harry Blake. He can fly, let's see what he can do. Oh, try to go around Kierid, but a good stick. Still finds him in the corner and kind of goes underneath Kierid. Dampus, Gerard going the other way already. Gerard, Salzman right in front of him. Gerard looking to shoot and he goes post and in. This has been the theme of the night. Gerard down the left wing, off the post and in. And it's 9-4 Dragons. Looks like at the moment UCL doesn't really have a lot of answers. Surely it doesn't help that their captain and leader has, is hurt or has been hurt. But still, I, 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 I can't... Knowing some of the guys' fitness levels for playing for the Dragons, there's no chance this is they, they've just warmed up because they should be already out of gas right by now. But looks like they've been sort of managing, <laughs> managing their energy and uh, still have something left in the tank. Oh, what a move by Peng on the blue line! Beautiful take on the puck and he scores! Oh my goodness, what an individual effort! That was gorgeous. Takes it between his leg, kicks it to himself, and goes glove side high. Where did that come from? A lightning bolt out of a clear sky. Beautiful goal by Min Hao Peng. That was lovely. I really enjoyed that. 9-5 for Dragons. So UCL close one back. And with six minutes left, I know they never say never, but hey, we've seen weirder things. Salzman keeps it in. This definitely should give some UCL some new energy. The free ties to play it out of the zone. Salzman doesn't keep it in. Finilla comes out of with it. Finilla runs into his own man. Rehax is standing there waving his hands for some reason. Probably should focus on playing instead of doing whatever he was doing. Van Damme behind his own net. 
Didn't go D to D. No, now he does. But there's too many dragons there. Van Damme collides with Finnila. Poon. Yuxtelis. Yuxtelis tries to skate it in and he does. Takes it into the corner. Oh, I've tried to fight Finnila up front. Oh, and it just came out of the zone. That's an offside. That was definitely an offside. Oh, and there's the whistle. A little bit delayed, but we got there in the end. So UCL cuts the deficit to four. There are five and a half minutes left to pull an absolute miracle out of the rabbit hat. Let's see what Harry Blake and the company have in their bag of tricks. In those big old Yeti pockets of stuff. Well, face of one face of win is what they didn't manage to pull out at that point of time, but they still managed to keep the puck in. Beat goes in the corner, takes his man. That's that's Kerr Edwards. Battle keep continues battling. That hits the referee into the skate. Blake comes in and swoops, takes the puck, goes behind the net. UCL trying to go in front of the net, but no one home apart from black sweaters. And that was Lee trying to come in, and there we go. Verdier, Girard once more. <laughs> How many times have I said that in this game? Not just because the benches are short, but that's because what ha that's what happens every time. And a beautiful pass from Verdier to Blake. Went to the zone. Does go around Reed. Reed, good stick, but also goes down in the heat of the battle. And now it's Zatni in the corner. They are trying to, they're struggling to get it out of the zone, but eventually they do. Zatni, first one to the puck, no icing. Tries to go right in front, straight in front of the net, but Renholm's there. Verdier. UCL trying to calm the situation down and get an organized off offense. Offensive, sorry, together. Verdier. Good pressure again from McGoy and Girard. Doesn't get anywhere. Nuxtelis once more tries to bring it in. Squades wide. Run home with the stick. And he stops next to the board. Goes in front of the net. Good pass. But stick tied up by Verdier. Ooh, and a bit of a hit from behind on Zadny. Doesn't face the man. Blake. Zadny going to the corner. Ooh, <laughs> Verdier saw Nuxtelis coming and decided to go the other way. And McGoey takes a, takes a stumble there. And that hits a referee and bounces right in front of the net. But that goes straight to Verdier's stick. Thankfully for UCL. Renholm, Blake. Ooh, dances around the, <laughs> the Zadni in the, on the blue line. Goes to the corner, tries to center. And there is Verdier. There is, oh, and it's a great chance for Morse. But he doesn't get it on net. Sorry, that was Leroy Hung, not Morse. Apologies about that. Oh, and here's Dampus. Salzman and Verdier the other way. Dampus stands it to the middle. Dampus. Oh, he just goes wide on the short side. Beautiful move in front of the net, but just all Swedish, no finish there that, on that attempt. Is Reed on the other end. Dampus. Coming down the middle again. Looking for a shot. Does shoot and shoots far on the blocker side. Just misses. And the buck is bouncing behind the net. Finnila goes to the corner. And UCL does eventually get to it. Two Yetis versus one Dragon. Who's going to win? And Dragons come through with it. Dampus dancing in front of the net again. Tries to go between his own legs and he does. What a move. He's been looking that all game. And we are into the double digits. It's 10-5. Doubling up on the lead again. So, with two minutes and 38 seconds left, Dragons. Well, I was going to say open up a sizable lead. It's been sizable for a while. For a moment, they looked at UCL's going to come back, but now it's looking extremely likely scoring five, uh, five goals in two and a half minutes. It's about 30 seconds a goal, if my math is correct. And that's a tall order for any team in any situation, let alone against a powerhouse like the Dragons. And I was kind of worried looking at the looking at the battery and the ten game clock, but it looks like we're gonna be okay. Hey, don't jinx it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Two twenty eight. We'll be fine. Anyway, in the hockey game, UCL to ask the puck in their own zone, looking to break out. Too many, too many, dra too many dark sweaters around them. Dampus again with the four check. And here's Morse coming down the middle. Good moves. 
Goes the right side, looking for a shot, does, and it goes just high and wide. Finnila on the blue line, tries to tries to poke it up, but uh, doesn't manage to. Solzman or someone keeps it in, and here comes Kier Reed going one-on-ones against Sarutkin. Tries to center pass, again, nope, not even twice. Dampus around the middle, looking for Finnila, who was beer, beaver tailing his stick. Morse passes it in. Here's Peng, going to the corner, strong play against Nuxtelis. Nuxtelis puts his man against, staples him against the boards. And now there's another melee going in the corner, but Dragons eventually come out with the puck. It is Nuxtelis, who laid the punishment, comes out with the puck. Yes, Harry Blake, is there at least one more goal left in the man? Peng, looking for a shoot, uh, hits the skate of Nuxtelis. He seems to be everywhere in the shift, this man. Girard. In the corner. He's been a bit more quiet in this period. Run out of gas. Or because he's definitely not going to be more defensively responsible. So he must be out of gas. Let's hope he's not hurt. Here comes Sapri. Looking to shoot. And he does. Oh, it's a strong shot. It's right between the D's legs. And he takes his own rebound. And the big the big Michael Dapri puts it in. As we enter the last minute of play. Makes it 11-5 for the Dragons. That was... Well, it was a dangerous looking rush. But I wasn't expecting an event just like that. You can see the UCL players clearly looking <laughs> fairly tired in the face of with the Dragons still standing up and going strong. So, who knows? Maybe maybe scoring goals gives you more energy. I don't know. I don't know. Can you use that as a fuel? At least like a psychological fuel you can. Here comes Blake. Shoots and it goes just on fire wide on the far side. Wasn't his strongest shot. Not what we saw in the first period. Run home. 40 seconds left in the, uh, left in the game. D to D for Verdier. Once more for good measure. There we go. Harry Blake drops it between his legs. Good idea. Right idea. But Lee comes flying in. And slides into the into the zone. Verdier. 20 seconds left. Can you see almost one more goal? Lee needs to shoot pretty soon. Uh oh. Here comes the Dragons the other way. It's a three on one. Run home the own own man back. Here is Girard. Is he going to go on his own? And he is, but he just misses a good glove save by Renel. Just as the last seconds tick away, Blake doesn't have enough time to do what he wanted to do. And, oh, Lee not happy with, well, I guess his performance or the team's performance. S tries to break his stick, but even that isn't successful tonight. So looks like it is in his day. 11-5, the final score for the team in dark, as you can see. Gathering there, congratulating each other. There you see Captain Harry Blake, who, well, it wasn't down to him that they lost. He played a great game, valiant effort. But eventually, at the end of the day, the Dragons proved a little bit too much. Which is, I guess, I guess you, if, if you ask the Dragons alumni chat, that's what, what expected. Um, but hey, UCL, I've been being the ice with them a few times. They're not, they're not terrible at all. They used to be... Used to be, of course, a more of a powerhouse. It's been a they had a bit of a lull for a couple of years, but they have been stronger again in the in the more recent past, thanks to strong players like Van Dam, Runholm, uh, Verdier, Blake, all these guys. So the future is not looking too shabby for the for the Yetis. But yes, in case you missed it, well. It's kind of hard to miss it because it's going to be on the screen, but 11-5 as we, we're tinkering with the graphics. I believe we're going to take some team pictures and uh, most likely. Thank you, the referees as well. They, I, I know that Sam Zadny was a bit disagreeing necessarily with some of the decisions that they made, but, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, there you go. The, the Finnish duo, Suomi pojat siinä, Viktor ja Matti siellä, juhlii ja laittaa kättä yhteen niin kuin voiton jälkeen kuuluukin. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what we're lining up for now. Um, I'm assuming...
There we go. Oh my. oh my. There we go. Now we should be good again. Let's mute the microphone on the uh, on the actual phone. So I believe we are doing the men of the. There we go. Doing the usual hoorays, hippie hoorays. Um, Tom decided to cut the cut the <laughs> cut the audio for some reason. I don't know why. I believe it was Leroy Hung. Oh, sorry, <laughs> not Leroy Hung. Ming Haopeng, who got the man of the match or player of the game eventually for the UCL. As you see, Roman Turan escaping from the ice early. Oh no, no, he's not. It, what team team photo maybe? I'm assuming. Well, it's good to see that there's no hard feelings on either side. Obviously. Oh yeah, that's a team photo. Time that. In case you weren't aware, this is the production office that this is the production office that we had going. Hi Tom. <laughs> Thanks Tom for all the technical stuff that he he, he put it together. An amazing amazing production here. Couple fans in the building, obviously. So as you see the see the two teams over there, and uh, we will try to find someone for a post game interview. Probably, at least on the dragon side, we'll have a, quite a few volunteers. But we will get back to you on that very shortly. 